Hello and welcome back to another how-to tutorial for the Creator Series. I know it's been a while, it's been about eight months or so, there's been a lot going on and just, you know, really keeping busy with things. So, just wanted to see if we can get back into making some more of these videos to help you uh, learn a little bit more about Deluge using Zoho Creator and just getting into some stuff. So, where we la left off last time was, I believe, the sub form. Um, and you can go back and check out that video. But what I want to show you today is in another previous video, what we talked about was on this convert to lead button. I showed you how to set this uh, and have it function properly. So, but what we're going to do is sometimes when you'll do this, yeah, it, it'll gray out and that's fine. But sometimes it's nice to see a message across uh, the screen inside of a pop-up. Now, uh, what we would do to get that to work pretty much would be, we would have to incorporate a page. Um, and I'll get a little bit more into that here in a bit. But what we're gonna do is basically when we click this button here to convert to lead, we want to have a success message pop up to say, hey, it's been created su successfully. So let's go ahead and start. Let me show you how to do that. So the first thing we're going to need to do is we need to have something to pop up. So let's go ahead and we'll edit this application. We can see over here, we have this panel with all kinds of default things that you can use. Also, we have charts, gauges, and you know, we'll, we'll get, you know, search features. We'll get all into this as we move down uh, into the future. But for right now, let's just, we're gonna keep this really basic. So we're just gonna go to the panel and also there are different items you can select up here. But let's just do a basic panel. So let's take one with, uh, let's use this one here, this open tickets one. So now we want a success message pop up, right? So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna do a couple things. So let's fix this up a bit. So now if you notice, we have our panel here that has three items and these are all individual items. We have open tickets for today, a number, and we have a icon. So if you look to the right here, we have some icons that we can select when we have the icon selected. Um, and then we have the general panel over here. So to start, to try to keep this video as sweet and short as possible, as I always like to do, let's try to go ahead and start configuring this. So we want a message and we want an icon. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove this, uh, this uh, object from the panel here. And to do that, you just highlight it. You go down here and you hit delete element. And then yes, just confirm it. So now we just have our two. But now since we want a success message, let's put something like a happy face instead of a ticket on here. And then also we're gonna change this name down here. So the first thing is let's change the name. And so right here where it says value, we want to do a display text. Now, just as a reference, you can do many things with these uh, with these panels and these elements that are in these panels. But for our purpose and what we're gonna do, we're just going to change it and leave it as text. Um, we're not gonna do anything too crazy. You see there's a bunch of options in there and we'll get into that later, but let's keep it to the basics for right now. So the first thing is that we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and take this out. And then we'll just say uh, success and of course successfully added okay and then that's it and we can see once we click out of it it go ahead and updates so now let's take a look at this so now this icon now there are many different things you can do you have an outline you have solid and then there's many to choose from 
So what we're going to do is, since this is a success message, we want something like a happy face. So let's see if we can find, you can just search in here, and there's a happy face. So there it is. Now, uh, you can change the colors of these backgrounds uh, and styles as you see fit. Now for me, I like to have it uh, solid in most cases, and then in that case you would need to select solid. But we'll go with an outline this time, and then I'll show you what we're going to do as far as the uh, style. So when we click on the style, we have a circle. You can make it a square or rounded. You can also uh, just give it a size. So we can make it large, you know, medium, or small, or a custom. Um, uh, the icon size itself, that's the shape size, apologies. And then this is the icon size, which also gives you a bunch of choices here that you can use. And then you have a few other things, your colors, your margin. Only thing we're concerned about right now is the color. So what we're gonna do is, I do like the green, however, I don't like the background. So what I wanna do is I just wanna have a clear background. So I'm gonna hit no fill. You can see that it disappears. And that's only because this font color, which is actually the icon, we want to actually set this to green. So now we can see that I have And what we want is we don't want the form workflows because since that button's on a report, we want to go to the report workflows. And you can see I have a few previous scripts that we've worked on uh, sometime last year. And what we're going to do is we're going to select this one here at the bottom. And you can see here's the code that we previously wrote for this. So now since we want to test with this, we don't actually want a lead to be created. Um, so what we want to do is we want to actually comment this out. And if you remember, if you're on a Windows, it is control alt uh, forward slash. Um, and that will uh, comment it out. And so then what you want to do is go down to line 10. And then what we're going to be using is the open URL uh, built in function. So you would just type it in. You can also drag it. I believe it's somewhere down here, but it's always a good idea to try to type it through so you can learn these things, right? So let's go ahead and start open. And you can see it's already popped up. URL. And then now you can see here it gives you two parameters, okay? It's looking for a string, which is essentially saying, what URL do you, where do you want me to go? what do you want me to open and then we have a window type which you can have the same window new window parent window pop-up window and an iframe for what we're trying to do well we want a pop-up window so let's go ahead and start with a pop-up window now if you look by default it gives you this height and width that you can set we're not going to do that for all we want is just a pop-up window so nothing really crazy to do here and what that will do is it will just give you the size of the panel itself when it pops up um, so that's why we're just going to take out the height and width altogether and just leave pop-up window so we'll just do that and then for the string so since it's a string if you remember strings in when you're writing in code need to be within quotation marks so we'll add two quotation marks there. And now we're going to say where we want this to go. Now, of course, you can do something like, you know, HTT, uh, HTTPS. And we don't need to do any of that because since we're working within the application, someone's using the application, we just want that page to pop up, right? So how you do that is you do the pound or hashtag symbol. And then we're going to specify that we want a page.
soldier. It's always the wise thing to do to get the name of an object directly from it, either in the URL or find the name. My URL may be um, off the uh, off the screen here, but it is in the URL. And I'm going to copy that. It is success message pop-up. That's what we called it. And you can see it right up here, success message pop-up. But in the URL, it has the underscores, which is important because if you don't put that, it won't actually work. So now we're going to go ahead and take that. We're going to put that here. Success message pop-up. Okay. So now we have our page. We have our comma here. And we're saying it's a pop-up window. Okay. And we have our semicolon at the end. If you just hit enter as you're typing in URL, it will just go ahead and fill it in and you just have to put in the missing information. All right. So now what we're going to do, we've commented this out. So now when we go back, we should be able to, let's first update this. We should be able to hit that button and it should pop up. Now let's go ahead and see if what we've done here works. So refresh for good measure as always. So now let's go ahead and hit this button, convert to lead and indeed it does successfully add it now it didn't actually do anything because remember we took that code out to actually do that so let's go back and put that in Always like to just in case. So then now we should be able to hit convert to lead. And we can see that in the background it has changed and we have a success message. So you can play around with this and do, you know, an error message in the same fashion. And that way we would be using like an if else statement, uh, depending on some different sets of criteria. And I think uh, likely in the next video, what I will show you is some validation rules. Um, I think it's probably time that we can say, you know, certain things need to be mandatory or not. Um, but we will get into that here uh, in one of our videos coming up soon. As always, thank you for watching. Um, if you like the video, please like. Uh, if you'd like to subscribe to see more content, feel free to do so. Appreciate it. Thank you. Until next time, have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.